When I would think about me as a kid and what my life would be like when I met the man that I would love for the rest of my life, it didn't even come close to what it truly is now. One of the things that I look forward to every day is when we call to say goodnight and you pray for us, asking Jesus to lead us closer to him and for us to build a stronger relationship, stronger than it already is. Soon we will no longer have to pray over the phone and can pray together in person as a married couple. I have no doubt in my mind that the more we lean on the Lord and go to him in times of triumph and in times of suffering, that our relationship will withstand anything that life throws at us. And I absolutely have no doubt in my mind that you will lead me and our future family closer to God and that every decision that is made, that it is made in the best interest of our family. I promise to love you always and incessantly. I vow to give you all the hugs and forehead kisses that you so cherish and love. I promise that I will always be honest and trustworthy, that I will always choose you, and that I'll always support and encourage you. Um, I vow to be the best husband that I can be to you and the best father to our future children. I vow to prioritize God in our relationship with God. I promise to always pray with you. Most importantly, I vow to pour my heart and soul into our marriage. This relationship means more than anything to me, and I will do everything that I can to make sure it is successful. So by the virtue and authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, according to the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dylan, you may kiss your bride.
pray that you bless their union, strengthen their commitment to one another, and grant them a lifetime of love, happiness, and harmony. Madison, it was so very special to walk you down the aisle today. I've seen other fathers do it, but I had no idea how special it was until just a little while ago.